My name is Russell Sinclair. I grew up here in Port Canaveral. It's where I fished the boat out of. The name of the boat's The Real Action. It's a 28 foot delta, and it was built and constructed right here in Port Canaveral. Right now, I'm running a ZF 220A electronic control, and it goes to a mechanical engine. I had 10,000 hours on my engine, and I had 12,000 hours on my transmission, and I uh, was fast-tracked into a repower due to the fact I blew up my motor. My old boat before the repower was a mechanical transmission and a mechanical trolling valve and a mechanical engine. I still have the mechanical engine, but I used to have a lever for FNR, for neutral and reverse, and I had a throttle lever. And then I did not have enough room or capacity to run a stern station with a FNR and a throttle. So going electronic transmission let me have a forward neutral reverse in the cockpit with throttle and it's only a single lever, it's not a dual lever action. So when I started the Repower Project, I, it had been 10 years since I've even touched my transmission. I teamed up with some of the guys at ZF. Going into it blindly, I wanted to go to an electronic application. Having no clue on what I, how I wanted to go and what you don't realize is, I didn't really have time to research it. I had to take word of mouth from ZF your team of guys that put me on a fast track to get it done because in a commercial boat application, time's money. And as the components came in, we put the boat together. And uh, before I knew it, I was up and running with electronic shift. It was basically a plug and play application. So when I operate the boat, a lot of times I fish in tide and I'm running back. So the tide's flowing at two to three knots and I could fish and catch a couple fish and then I'd have to throttle up. So every time I throttled up, I'd walk from the stern to here and have to keep throttling up and then take it back. And my old boat with the mechanical application, I only had a trolling valve in the stern, so I could only bump ahead and forward. I had no neutral or reverse. So with the new application, I'm not gonna have to walk as much all day long walking back and forward. And in a commercial application, that walking back and forward might be a hundred times a day. So. When you do a reef power project, which being in the industry from sport fishing to commercial apparatus for the last 25 years, I've been a part of quite a few repowers. One thing you need to take into consideration, the cost of the motor, cost of the transmission. Hey, I can repower the project. That's just the start. There's many things to reconsider in your, in your repower that is not just the repower add another 20 to 30 percent to your cost for items you didn't see coming and look for them because they're coming it's a boat it's gonna break when you do a repower be involved with your project you don't have to be there seven days a week but if you're there three or four days a week knowing what is going down with your boat knowing that because you're doing a repower so you've owned the boat so you know how you use it every individual is different with the way they use their boat so when you know how you use your boat if you're involved with the repower, when they are fixing things and doing things different, you can then make, oh, I didn't see that. Let's move this to here. And it's pretty easy when there's nothing in the way. When stuff gets in the way, you're not gonna do that project. So for the next 10,000 hours, you're gonna deal with what and you forgot about it. So be involved with your project.